Hey everybody, long time no see. This is Brad over here at Chattanooga Fishing Fun. Here at Fishing Fun, we sell Ranger boats and Lance truck campers. We've got a cold, wet, rainy day to look at some truck campers. When I say some, I'm actually just showing one today. We got three new ones in, but we'll have to save those for another rainy day. Before we get too deep in the video, I've got a 2021 Lance 975 over here. It's my personal camper on the far end over there. Um, I'm actually going to be listing it for sale. So if you or anybody that, uh, you know, is interested in a truck camper, a 975 specifically, give me a call. We'll go over details, pricing, all that good stuff. Back to the video. All right, so we're going to be checking out the Lance 960 today. It is Lance's newest production model truck camper. I've actually only had two roll through. Uh, one was a 2021 and this is the first 2022 but my second 960 overall uh, this one has the theater seating inside i don't want to give too much away but we'll start with the outside all right so this one right here is geared towards your 350 and 450 3500 long bed trucks uh, it can go in a single rear wheel or a fat butt got the swing out brackets there so you can fit the fat hineys underneath there uh, this camper comes in weighing at about 3,254 uh, pounds dry and 3,717 pounds wet. And that's with standard equipment. You add any optional equipment above that and it's going to weigh more. Uh, they also start out at $60,000 MSRP and you can price them all the way up to 77 with all the additional features that they offer. But uh, all right, we'll get started. So this is going to be your driver's side. It's got the acrylic windows that kick out really far. That's what I like about them. Let a lot more natural uh, light and airflow through. This is going to be where you fill your fresh water tank. Your fresh water tank holds a total of 45 gallons. This right here is our Trumacomi system. Uh, this is what everybody loves about this camper, this Trumacomi system. So this is like a tankless water heater and a furnace all in one very cool and that's its little hand warmer is what i call it all the furnaces produce very good heat for your hands when you're outside this is going to be where you uh, plug in your 30 amp cord comes with the camper all your campground connections are on this side city water connection Blackwater flush and then this right here most of the time you'll find these at the front of the camper but for some reason it's on the rear on this one so this is what uh, lights his own wiring harness we installed the truck side plug for you here at the dealership but uh, that'll charge the batteries run the lights all that good stuff outdoor shower for all my freaks of nature out there that like to shower outside I don't mean that in a bad way either uh, or you can use it to rinse off your dog, uh, pots and pans outside, cooking utensils. That's what I use it for. All right, so this is going to be the main dump station. I know everybody's asking, you know, what size tanks it has. So, like I said before, it was 45 gallon fresh water, 30 gallon gray water, and 28 gallon black water. This is going to be your gray tank, that's going to be your black. And then your fresh water drains, hot water drains, cold water drains all, all run out the bottom right there. And as you can see there, it's all ducted heat. That's a part of your four season package that is actually standard through the factory now. I just ran into that camper. But a little side view, I didn't even point out the graphics. The mountain graphics are now standard. Uh, really cool, uh, darker looking accents and everything. I got a sales call. Alrighty, I'm back. I believe this is where we left off. I was going to show you a really cool trick down here at the bottom. If you keep a nice quarter in your pocket, you can actually rotate that with the quarter and then unlock this secret passage for a sewer pipe or take this right here out and you can put some other things in there. Uh, I believe this works with other currency too. I don't think it's just USD or whatever they call this. But uh, anyways, the 960 also has the manual rear awning option. Uh, it has the built-in LED light strip at the end of it. The rear one does not have the 
auto wind sensing, but the side does. Uh, it's nice for rainy days like this. You just kick that out and you don't get soaked for walking right out the door. You got the rear docking lights there, patio light, rear backup camera, parking satellite connections right here. If you can open it. A uh, little door holder here. Nice lights to light up your tag. Two batteries located on the outside. You can get lithiums through the factory. Nice onboard generator option. Not closed in on the bottom so water doesn't pull up and easy to drop for maintenance. Four season package. Certified green go earth. And then on this side right here, that's where you're gonna find your two really expensive propane tanks. These things are high dollar. I looked them up for a customer to have spares and they're like, they're like 300 and something dollars. But anyways, uh, these are custom tanks, I guess. Uh, they both have the gauges on them so you don't have to, you know, pick which one you want to pull from first. You can read where you're at on both, both of them. Nice little magnetic strip to hold the door up. Let's see, outdoor speakers so we can tick off our neighbors. Then we got the, this is the auto, excuse me, I had a brain fart right there. Uh, this is the automatic awning. You control it inside just like the rear one. This one has the auto wind sensing with the LED light strip. If it gets too windy outside, it rolls itself back in. That's pretty much it over here. And then in the back, right there, that's where you're gonna find your exterior propane connection and 110 outlets. Give you another little side view and then we'll go check out the inside. Cool. Let's go look at the inside. I'd show you the roof, but I don't want to slip and bust my tail today. Maybe tomorrow. All right. So before you walk in the camper here, what you'll notice is this huge basement door. The 975 and 1062 also have this feature. I really like that. That's where I put all my fishing stuff when I go in mine. But uh, anyways, you have that nice basement door that goes all the way, almost all the way back there. Um, it is 9 foot 11 inches of floor uh, floor length there. So pretty roomy inside. Let's see. All your lights are going to be on this side. Docking lights, left, right, rear patio lights, up, down. One's an orange, orange light, one's a white light. Entry light here controls that light. Uh, both of your awning lights here and where you run both of your awnings. Battery on off disconnect switch and electric jack remote plug in. All right, let's see, key rack, hold up. That's how you work it. Massive closet as soon as you walk in here. There we go. That's pretty deep too, like. That's my arm going all the way back in there. I feel like the camera doesn't really do it justice. Oh, look at that. We got our little backup camera switch just hanging out all by himself up there. That's sad. A uh, five cubic foot fridge. Runs on propane, AC and DC. Pretty good sized fridge. I think this is the same size as mine. Probably the same one. Over here to the right, that's where our wet bath is located pretty roomy in there I mean I'm I'm a big guy and I can get in here and just look at that oh yeah plenty of room uh, I guessing that's a towel holder ventilation fan for when you stink it up in here or need to you know let out some uh, humidity shower heads just hanging there you can use it as a bidet and somewhere in here's our toilet paper holster right there Right there is where you store your toilet paper. Stay nice and dry in there. All right, so we tackled the entry. Now I've, I've actually got one of these put in and there's another one that comes with it also. I just wanted to put one in so you could see what it looks like. But that is your theater seating option. You have this and then the captain chairs. This color right here is called Grayson. You have Grayson, you have Bronzite, and Lapis to choose from. Grayson's the gray, obviously. 
bronzite's like a brownish looking color and then lapis is a uh, like midnight blue color up above you've got some uh, cabinets that look like they were taken out of a futuristic space shuttle you can take that out of there I guess this is like a bunk bed deal like I said this is only my second one in here second 960 yeah that'd be a bunk because it's got the little net holders up here too sweet then over here more cabinets they light up when you open it and we got our microwave hidden in there how neat I didn't even know that was in there more cabinets more lights it's got a pretty good amount of storage inside doesn't have a lot outside but I think it makes up for it inside what is this another closet no all right so this would be your pantry uh, if you you know you don't like how it doesn't have a slide out option just get you some baskets to throw in there you can slide the baskets out and then boom you've made yourself a slide out pantry a little angled slide out door non-slam I don't know what you'd put in there because under tow it'd probably fall out the back there probably just an access door oh this is not a storage compartment that makes sense what kind of compartment is it there just an access cool I like the handles on these though you might have those uh, push button like side deals and this one's like a clip in I really like that oh. all right so I'm getting ahead of myself here we got a three burner stove top option or not an option this is standard but we got the three burner stove top it's gas and then you got the oven looks big enough for a totino's pizza or DiGiorno. got us a little slide out drawer here i reckon this is where everybody would put their like pots and pans oh okay that doesn't slide out that far okay so this is i guess where you put your silverware or you can take that out and put whatever you want to in there. Non-slam. Some more, uh, oh, I can see out there. I left that door open. Anyways, this is like a little storage compartment for where I keep all my cleaning equipment, towels and stuff. Very cool. But this one looks like it has pretty decent amount of countertop space. I like the slick finish looks really easy to clean and then we also have this secret pop-up outlet here yeah so you got your 110 outlets USB outlets and yep that's it that just goes away nice and flush out of the way this is what I was saying about these windows though I really like how far they kick out lets a lot more air in natural air and natural light and I'm not talking about the beer. But uh, you got your day shade here to keep the little bugs out. Somebody said that they could just make their way around. I mean, I guess they could if they wanted to. But, I mean, bugs get in your house too. Just a part of it. If you don't like bugs, don't go camping. I don't, I don't really get it. Then you got your nightshade. Blocks all the peeping toms out of here. What else have I not gone over? Oh, trash can. So I'm pretty sure that this one, the 975 and the 1062, are the only ones cool enough to have a built-in garbage can feature. Yep. All right, that's it. Over here, got a nice clock with no batteries in it. I don't think anybody looks at those anymore anyways. Uh, let's see. Oh, the head space in here. We've got 79 inches of headroom. Uh, I'm six foot, have plenty of room to go here, even underneath the AC unit. So that's pretty nice. And then we got our swing out TV. I believe that's a 28 incher. Uh, it does swing out this way and towards the bed area. So you can see that nice and up close in the bed. And then you can swing it back this way to see from the uh, couch or open up the window and you can see it from outside while you're grilling out. Still watch the game, whatever you want to use it for. Radio that doesn't play Blu-ray. I figured out the first time I actually used my camper. 
a uh, little storage compartment over here to the right storage underneath another closet probably could refer to these as the uh, hers and hers closet got the TV box in there right now compartment over here with an AC outlet and then a uh, slide out drawer over there with a countertop and a USB outlet DC outlet and two AC outlets over there so if you both use CPAP machines you're good and a nice little skylight so your feet can see the stars all right I think that about covers it inside here give you one more look see you around very cool all right well that completes the tour of the 2022 lance 960 sorry it took so long for me to upload another video but uh i don't get campers as often as i used to anymore um i've got this one and then you can expect at least two more videos from me one's a 2022 lance 1172 i've already got a video of one of those out there but you know i've got it here so why not do a video on it and then the other one's a 2022 Lance 865 should be the first 2022 model that I have done a video on on this channel That one's right there Looking all pretty And then also like I said at the beginning of the video if you are a friends looking for a 2021 Lance 975 and Don't want to wait eight months on a custom order and want to spend less money than a 2022 model mine's here I don't really know if I'm quite ready to sell it, but if I sell it, I'll get another one. So uh, it is what it is. Um, there's it. I might even leave the stickers on there for you. Probably not. But anyways, again, that was the 2022 Lance 960. Uh, they start out at $60,000. You can probably price one all the way up to 77. Might be able to do a little bit more than that if you're eager to spend a little bit more money. Uh, we do offer financing here. U.S. Bank owns my camper. Um, I finance through the dealership here, so obviously if I'll do it, it's safe for you too also. Um, oh yeah, the Lance 960 requires a 350 or 450 series or 3500 series. Don't leave, want to leave you Ram and Chevy boys out. Um, long bed, single rear wheel or dual rear wheel trucks. That's right, you can fit the skinny butts or the fat butts under there. All right, all my contact information will be in the description below. Uh, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that notification bell. lets you know when I upload a video. If for some reason you do want to see another video from me. And go ahead and uh, hit that like button. lets YouTube know that I might know what I'm talking about. might be enjoyable to watch. I think that's about it. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.